breaking news from RTV6. Chaos on North Street and Capitol Avenue this morning. A series of explosions after an underground fire downtown caused several evacuations, power outages, and traffic jams downtown. We have live team coverage right now as the cause of the blast and fire remains under investigation. A few minutes ago, we learned the reason for this series of explosions. RTV6 cameras were rolling this morning during this explosion that you see right here. Since then, Indianapolis Power and Light crews, along with firefighters, have remained on the scene. Our reporter Julie Persley has been there all morning long. Our team coverage begins with her. Julie. Well, I just spoke to executives from Indianapolis Power and Light. What they tell me is that there was an electrical short circuit in a 120 volt power cable. That then spread to other power cables in the area, resulting in multiple explosions this morning. Take a look at the pictures. See that? As you can see and hear from this video, our crew in Skycam 6 was rolling as a manhole exploded. Multiple underground blasts rocked downtown Indianapolis this morning. Indianapolis Power and Light and the fire department say the fires and explosions happened in manholes and underground utility vaults around Capitol Avenue and North Street. The first one was around 6:45. We are here. Providing support for IPL and uh, any other utility that's on scene, trying to make sure that what's happening going on underneath the ground is getting mitigated. Power was shut off within about a six blocks radius. Traffic lights were out and people driving to work during the morning rush hour had to be diverted around the scene. Firefighters evacuated a few buildings in the area. We've had people voluntarily leave the area. We're just asking people to be wary of um, in this area of the manhole covers. Indianapolis Power and Light crews are now investigating, trying to figure out what caused the fires in the first place? Within our service territory, downtown, everything is underground. And so when incidents like this happen, um, it's a joint effort. And so we have people from citizens here. We have people from IFD making sure that we can first secure the area. But our crews have to get underground. And again, back out here live at Capitol and North Street. Take a look behind me here where that DPW van just pulled up. That is where one of the manholes blew off. It is now laying there on the sidewalk. IPL says it is gradually replacing manhole covers with swivel lock or pop up covers that only allow them to go about four to six inches in the air during a blast. They tell me they don't know how high it went today. But more than 300 have already been installed. There's a plan to install another 600 in the coming years. The concern is how easily could they get into one of those pop-up covers if there was an emergency. They say most of those are being installed right now around Lucas Oil Stadium and high pedestrian traffic areas around the city. And Kelly is standing by live now with a look at how businesses have been. Well, yes, I'm live at Acapulco Joe's at uh, Vermont and Illinois, one of the many businesses which for uh, up to five hours now does Dozens of businesses in this area battling not just the darkness, but also the lack of refrigeration, uh, the lack of stoves, even fountain drinks here not working because they are powered. They uh, rely on power as well. Now, the owner, Grant Redman, telling me his biggest concern right now, the condition of all the food they have. It can hold up for a while in a refrigerator without power. But again, we're now on hour five with no power in this restaurant and many in the area. And as time passes, about the uh, as time passes, the temperature of the food rises and concerns uh, rise as well and the chances that some of it or all of it may have to be pitched. So a pricey outage not only because of that but also because even though they've been open since 7 a.m. this restaurant has only been able to serve a handful of people. I had a few customers in here. One guy it was his birthday so they had a couple beers and with their flashlights on their cell phones and I was able to serve couple people biscuits and gravy because we had that ready. But other than that, I've been sitting here not doing anything pretty much since. I know they're doing everything they can to get it back on. It's just inconvenient. 
And it's not just here, also Subway at New York and Illinois La Peep down the street, a number of businesses without power still at this hour, Inconven inconveniencing not just those businesses and their employees, but anyone also who had planned maybe to grab a bite to eat in this area over their lunch break. For now, we're reporting, reporting live downtown. Ann Kelly, RTV6. And thank you. And we caught up with Mayor Ballard a few hours after the explosion downtown. He expressed concern about the situation and confidence in IPL solving this issue. You're always a little bit worried about that, so you, you, I think we need to take steps to mitigate the effects if it does happen, but also we want to go down underneath and make sure that everything is happening appropriately down there. So and, uh, IPL is really strong on this, and uh, they'll get down there, they're down there right now, and uh, they're very, very conscientious about all this, but uh, between them and the fire department, we're going to get into this. Well, for a decade now, this type of incident has been the focus of a Call 6 investigation. Investigator Rafael Sanchez live now on continued problems for Indianapolis Power and Light. Rafael, what can you tell us now? Uh, Beth, good afternoon. Our live coverage continues here on North Street. As you can see behind me, this is one of the many IPL crews that is working a number of locations. We are just around the corner from where Julie Persley reported a moment ago. But this is a really a very key location because it's an apartment complex right behind where this crew of IPL workers is standing. Apparently, when that blast occurred, there was a buildup of carbon monoxide. And as we know, that's a very dangerous gas inside of this apartment apartment complex. The Marion County Health Department here on North Street closed it down. IPL is planning on bringing a generator to power the apartment complex and the manholes that are open currently are sort of just venting all of that nasty gas. In fact, right now we can smell burnt, burnt, uh, uh, the burnt uh, plastic here in the area. But for, you know, for IPL right now, this is a very serious situation and the state is calling them to a special hearing tomorrow morning. See that? Up in Sky Camp 6, our team was stunned with what they saw. One of the explosions caught from Sky Camp 6. The aftermath led to power outages in downtown Indianapolis. It is the second incident for IPL this week. Crews responded to an underground failure on Tuesday. These latest incidents come after the city's largest producer of electricity has faced other situations questioning the safety of their equipment. Until today, the most visible and scariest moment came last August during the lunch hour near Monument Circle. The company determined that underground blast was caused by a circuit breaker that failed. It shut down traffic and forced a couple of businesses near Circle Center Mall to close for several hours. In 2011, an independent report confirmed what we had reported since 2005, multiple problems felt and seen by the public. Dating back to January 2005, IPL responded to more than a dozen fires and explosions on North Street, Market, Vermont, Meridian, Massachusetts, Capitol, and New York. In 2011, state regulators had seen enough. They called IPL executives to answer questions about the problems. The company at the time implemented voluntary stepped-up inspections and an action plan to deal with the regulatory and the public concerns. We are back live as we continue to follow this developing story. As you can see, IPL crews still at work. They will be at work for several hours. This is one of many locations where they are trying to figure out exactly what happened this morning. I should point out that set regulators are really concerned. So tomorrow there will be an emergency meeting at 1030 before the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission. They want IPL executives to explain what happened here. Of course, we'll cover that for you and bring you the very latest tonight on the news at 5. Reporting live downtown, Rafael Sanchez, RTV6.
Megan Raphael reporting from the Traffic Now Center. I made this map to show you the area of the explosion. Again, that's Capitol Avenue at North Street. That's really the epicenter of all of the power outages and traffic issues we've been following since about 6.50 this morning. Now, I just got off the phone with Metro Police who tell me the areas to watch for those traffic signal outages are anywhere between Meridian Street, Ohio Street, Senate Avenue, also all the way up to 10th Street. So as you're heading home from work this evening, you'll want to use caution. They tell me there may be traffic issues from the explosion in downtown anywhere for about three to ten more hours.